So you have password enabled on your network sharing settings. And um, this is a laptop here that I'd like to access. And the username, well, the name for this laptop, well, for the account I'm trying to log on to is, in fact, my name. And um, also the password. This is all correct. However, when I try to access it, I get this message here. Logon failure, unknown username, or bad password. Now the reason for this happening is more than likely because what I try to do there is put this as the username. Now a lot of people might say, but that's, that's, um, that is the username. Well, not necessarily. Now the reason why I say necessarily is because if that was the username when you originally made this account, then you could use it. However, the problem with um, with this issue is that once you go into your control panel and then change the name, um, it puts the very first account name as the default username. For example, if I go into control panel user account and let's say I decided to manage account and add a new account and we're just gonna call him Joe <coughs> excuse me and then create account and just a standard account now we go back into Joe and we assign Joe a password zero 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 now this is Joe's password so we create account and now maybe a couple of weeks later Joe decided he doesn't want to just leave his name as Joe he wants to put his full name so he decided he wants to put in Joe Bob so now Joe's after changing his name so if someone try to log into Joe Bob's PC on the on the network using his name Joe Bob it's not gonna work because that wasn't the first or the original name that he gave his account the original name as we all know was Joe now the way to fix this is by pressing the start button and typing in run and then enter now as you can see I already have this um, little setting here uh, so it says control space user passwords two are together. Now you just type that into um, the run command and hit OK and it'll open up. Now as you can see here, it says username is Joe and then underneath it says Joe Bob inside the little bubble. Now that's what's happening with most people is they change their username, uh, user account name and they forget that the the very first one was the original so that made that the username so this is how you find it as you can see here with my account my name is Kingsley Chamezy however my username is admin Kingsley now we can come in here now and let's say go into properties and now we can change his username to Joe Bob to match his name you can do whatever you like and the same goes for the passwords. You could reset his password here. Now that's that's pretty much it. That's all you have to do um, to figure it out. But obviously, this computer here is trying to log on to this HP laptop. Um, you can pretty much end the video there. But let's just go onto the HP laptop using remote access. Um, like I said before, if you've figured it out by now you can end the video here but this is just for demonstrational purposes <coughs> okay now we're on the HP laptop so this is a Windows 8 system so we shall go into the search and type in run like we did on the Windows 7 system and now we type in the same control user passwords to 
and hit OK. Now, as you can see, the name on the account, the name on the account here, sorry, the name on the account is Kingsley Space Chimazy. However, the user account settings shows that it's Kingsley with no space Chimazy, and that's the username. But then look again underneath in the highlighted bubble. It says Kingsley Space Chimazy. So that's the mistake most people are making. So now we can go back to the Windows 7 system. And now we can put in Kingsley Chimazy without a space. And obviously the password. I'm not going to mention that. And as you can see, we're able to access it now. So that's it really. Um, I hope the video helped you. If it did, please leave a thumbs up and thanks for watching.